Ian McDiarmid. Palpatine, of course. Now, in the... Um, for starters, the normal people of the world, where it's acceptable enough, I suppose, where people don't really... If, if they don't really object, you know, most citizens of the world out there... Sort of theoretical characters in the um, the Angel Saga, the Children of Destiny. And E. McDiarmid, the actor who plays Palpatine in Star Wars, is um, he's a plays himself in the Angel Saga, as so many people do. Now, in E. McDiarmid, who is Old man McDaramond, uh, a nickname as it were, way back at the beginning of Calfora when it was starting to expand, when Suruvio was doing his first prayers as overseer to get the expansion going of the disc in the early days, Ian McDiarmid had a, a chat with Ceruvial, the, Ser the Seraphim. And Ceruvial focuses on ideas to do with freedom and power and sort of, in, in, in some ways, sort of like a, a Sith in some ways. In some ways, I guess. He's a very Darth vader -y sort of figure, isn't he? But they had a chat about... The tension between light and darkness in Star Wars ideas and in, in life in general. I had a chat in the early days of Kalfora when starting to expand. And when old world societies started forming in Kalfora, in McDiarmid, old man McDaramond, as he called himself, D-A-R-A-M-O-N-D, had a chat with Suru. They chatted over a, a while, and they felt that this tension should be the subject of, should be a subject of importance, particularly in the old world where questing was a reality. Certainly in future world, things akin to Star Wars, it, it, it could be quite a bit of a thing to... That's want to quest, isn't it? Star Wars full of questing. But the tension was an important thing to get a spark in life, get a sort of action going, the, the heart of the, no, the, the novel in some ways, the, uh, the problem, of it, problem at hand, the, uh, the tension, the quest. And Old McDermott, sort of in putting it bluntly in cahoots with Sir Ruvial, settled down and established seven star globes, which were, putting it bluntly, prayed over and then sought out, so, sort of out, the legal sort of anima and magical sort of stuff, the stuff which was legally registered, um, legal sort of witches, not the black magic. It was, there was no real black magic involved, but there was, there was tension in some of the prayers and the stuff being put into the star globes. And there were seven of them which were fashioned. And they were settled into places, fantasy realms, which had emerged in Calfora in, uh, well, well, castle sort of scenarios, keep sort of scenarios where they were carefully protected by religious zealots who were dedicated to taking care of that particular item. And it had a bit of a, um, each of them has a, a wavelength of, ideas associated with it. Now, that 
draws his attention in the old world of Calphora in the various fantasy realms. And that, that's the point of why they were set up. Now, the great master, McDaramond, at a certain point was chatting with a young pupil of his, Anakin, which is, of course, Hayden, and um, was playing, who is himself in the Angel Saga, and uh, with the history that he has in real life as we're, and the real world, and um, got him into the, the trade of also making star globes. So that for um, Calfora Quest, which is the concluding idea of the fantasy world's stories, and there are more to come before I get to Calfora Quest, although I'm doing this video first, because there might be three, four or five different fantasy worlds which I get to, but... Um, all of is supposed to be seven main ones of of the story of Calphora Quest, seven main fantasy worlds of the old world. So I might, I, I might do all seven. We'll see how it goes. But um, Calphora Quest is a quest which involves Daniel and Anakin, and they're um, one of the primary things which Daniel is doing while he's questing off into the fantasy world is to settle some seed, make some progeny, but also settle settling things, building things, because that's what Daniel likes to do a bit. And Anakin Hayden likes that idea somewhat, because Daniel, let's let's do some of that idea. You see that in Royal Chevalier. They're doing that. And that's what's going on in Calphora Quest, the, the settling, and resolving some of the tensions which they're starting to notice in fantasy worlds because of certain star globes which old man McDaramond had set up. And that's an introduction to the idea. 